Hi, welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. I'm going to perform the same weld using this MIG Weld 140, and I'm going to run one in DCEN electrode negative and the same weld in DC electrode positive and uh, explain what's happening in the weld and why they're different. The MIG Weld 140 performed great uh, right out of the box. My settings here are volt arc uh, 8 and my wire speed at 80. Changing polarities, electrode negative, electrode positive, is relatively simple and it's similar on many of these MIG machines. Now this is the, the MIG torch is connected into this piece. This is the receiver for the MIG torch. So this wire right here is going up to the positive terminal. So this is, the wire is the electrodes. This is electrode positive, DCEP. And this is my negative lead coming in through the machine and it's into the negative terminal. terminal. So I'm electrode positive in this setting. We know that we're set in electrode positive and this, this is the electrode, the wire. And so that means our ground is negative. So what's going to happen? The, the voltage that you've set in the machine is going to come through the negative and in through the arc, through the arc gap that's created between the wire and the, and the, and the plate. So now the arc gap is is created. Now the electrons are flowing from negative to positive, from negative to positive. So that's the hottest part. This is the hottest part of the weld, and the negative side where the energy is coming from, and it's going from here to here. So that's why uh, electrode positive, they call it a colder weld because the, the force, the energy is coming from the plate to the wire. So from what I just told you, here's the two welds I just did. One's negative, one's positive. Can you tell which is which? Well, this is DCEP, this is DCEN. Now the source of the heat is from the plate coming to the electrode. So the plate is the hot side, and this, therefore this weld is hotter, and you can see that it penetrates down into the base metal. Now this is DCEN, electrode negative, so the, the heat is coming from the electrode to the plate. Now it's melting the wire off, but it's not penetrating into the plate. So here's the difference between um, electrode positive, the heat coming from the plate up to the wire, and uh, electrode negative, the heat coming from the wire and going down to the plate. The MIG Weld 140 performed great uh, right out of the box. My settings here are volt arc uh, 8 and my wire speed at 80. This is a simple demonstration of what polarity means to welding. Uh, DC negative, DC positive. Uh, now, Electron, electron flow is always negative to positive, and that's a part of physics, and you're not going to change that. But what you can control is, is uh, the work piece. Do you make this positive or do you make it negative? Uh, different processes require uh, different inputs. Some process, a uh, flux core, wants um, an electrode negative and the work positive, and MIG welding wants the electrode uh, positive and the work negative. So each process has uh, uh, different capabilities and, and they perform better in certain polarities. So be aware of what your polarity is uh, when, whenever you're welding. I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching at Longevity's Learning Lab.